What's up guys, welcome back to another video. As you can see, in an actual gym right now, well, in the locker room gym right now. Super excited though, because me and Chris are hitting chest today, and we haven't hit chest in a gym since the whole quarantine happened, so really looking forward to some chest flies, and even more excited because we're hitting The Rock's um, chest and shoulder workout that this is how he trained for his Pain and Gain movie back in 2013. So pretty similar because it's a high volume and you already know I'm about high volume. Probably gonna add in like two things just because I want to also hit some triceps, but super excited. So if you guys are ready for the video, sit back, relax, enjoy, and we're about to go kill this chest. All right, so first thing we got is incline bench. He starts off with four sets, four working sets, and he does pyramid sets. So we're gonna work with weight. Warming up right now, this isn't part of his sets. I'll probably start off my first set with 60s, 70s, 80s, and then we'll see if I wanna touch 90s. And then after that, he does two sets alternating them. So here we go. I don't know if it's the lighting right now, but I feel good. And I'm only one set in. Second set. Right, last set of the four before we do the alternating. I think I'm gonna touch the 90s. Go for the big boy ones. Probably only get like four or five. We'll see how it goes. I haven't touched the 90s in a while. And low key, these dumbbells are a little heavier than the adjustable ones. Because the adjustable ones at Tommy Toss, you get the, the wrist support a little bit, so it should be fun. <laughs> Ready? Yep. One, one, two.
Next move we got, the rock does dumbo fly fly, or dumbo, dumbo flies. I personally just don't like fly dumbo fly, so hectic machine, same movement. Um, four sets, and we're also gonna superset it with a, a tricep movement just because I wanna add triceps, I haven't had triceps all week. But yeah, 45 seconds rest is what he says he does, so kind of similar to what me and Chris do anyways. We do like a minute, but can try to speed things up a little bit. Woo, shit burns. Oh. 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 Yeah, I haven't had a peg deck flying machine in so long. Chest on fire. I call this the ass chest when they ring it on. I can't even flex it. All right, next thing we got, he does dumbbell flat bench. He's really big on dumbbells. We got four sets, same thing, pyramiding up. Starting with 50s, then you go probably with 60s, 70s, maybe 80s. Probably want to get at least eight um, for the heavier one. And then same thing, two sets, pyramiding. I mean, not pyramiding, alternating. So, here, chest is on fire. Yeah, I've been going to failure every set. That one was dumb. <laughs> After he does a lot of his big chest movements, he likes moving on to shoulders because uh, he says it's a smaller muscle group. So now we got dumbbell um, overhead press. We're gonna superset it with 
dumbbell ladder raises. He doesn't, it doesn't say super set them, but it's just a lot of more exercises and we've already been here for kind of a while, so we're just gonna combine the two. Now we got, well he has and I guess we have now, dumbbell ladder raises, pair meeting up. I started, this is my second set. I started with 25s and I got 30s. Mago 35s next. And then we're gonna superset it. I don't know if he supersets it, but we're gonna superset it with dumbbell front raises too. Cause that's what he does. But um, just to make it more time efficient, we've been here for like an hour and 10 minutes. There we go. Actually, I lied. Made it for 61 minutes, but. <laughs> You're good, you're good, you're good. <laughs> I'm not going to get it. No! 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 Last exercise of the day. And this is actual superset. He does superset these two. We're gonna go cable flies, high cable flies, superset with dips. Um, probably like 12 to 15 here, and then on the dips as many as you can. We're gonna go four sets, back and forth, last thing, burn it out. Alright, last set right here, fourth set. Say right now. My chest is gonna be so short and muscular, it's gonna be ridiculous. I haven't had a fly machine in so long. And it's the volume. Yeah. It's at the point where you have to just laugh. Because you know it's gonna be stupid. <laughs> Yeah, you gotta get the thong out. I call this, this should be the ass day, ass chest day. Come on, come on. Woo! Oh! 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 Mm. 
Good ass workout. Turn right now I'm dead. Dead, dead, dead. I also want to shout out Crunch Fitness and Fairless. Because we've just been coming as guests. And they didn't tell me to do this or anything. But they actually don't mind us recording and stuff. We went to another Crunch in Jersey. Biggest dickheads. If I can even say that. If they see this, please cut this part out actually. <laughs> They're assholes. <laughs> but yeah, no, this gym, this gym's nice. No, they don't mind recording. People are pretty cool here. I take my shirt off for once in a while. No one says anything. Except the last time I was here, it was all for like. 30 minutes and someone was like, can you put a shirt on? <laughs> but it will be off again in about 10 minutes. Good workout, I'm gonna do a drop set because I'm like that. I said a drop set. I wasn't dropping anything. I met rest pause. Oh! All right, workout complete. And I'm telling you right now, that was a lot of volume. And I'm, I'm used to the volume, but Low key, those extra two sets of the alternating was kind of, kind of, is what got you. Felt super good. I felt super pumped up. Like the pump I had, oh shit, my chest literally started to cramp. The pump I had was actually ridiculous. Felt super good. That was what he said he did, or at least online where we got when he was doing the pain and gain video or a movie back in 2013. He's that big for a reason. So, anyways, super good workout. Uh, about to go home, eat, and then I'll catch you with you guys later on today, probably in like two hours after I shower and stuff. Oh, hey there. Anyway, <laughs> anyways, welcome back, guys. Later on in the day, just finished cardio, did some bleachers. I'm telling you, this is a staple in my training, and then just show them the field. Look at this view. That brought, this brings back so many memories of the football days. I remember coming up here before game day, I would just come up here and just visualize, right? I'm getting emotional. But, anyways, decided to, because I get a lot of comments and stuff, a lot of good comments. People were like, oh, congratulations, oh, you're so inspiring. Oh my god, keep it up, keep the hard work. But then I got a lot of funny comments, some random ones that, like, I actually have to delete because, like, I don't know how they expect me to keep them there, <laughs> but then a lot of comments, of course, hating. You always have haters and stuff, which I'm telling you right now, me personally, I've never had an issue. I, I honestly don't care what people think or what they say. It doesn't, I don't let it affect me. Social media especially, right? They're hiding behind a screen, behind a name. Behind, you go on their profile, they don't even have any pictures up. And it's like a picture of like an egg. Like it's like, it's stupid. So like that literally never, never, never has ever bothered me. So decided to do this kind of little reacting to comments uh, section real quick. Anyways, so here's one. And it's always steroid comments. You need steroids for that. He uses steroids and lies to your face about it. I don't use steroids. I mean, I'm completely 100, 1000% natural. I take supplements like protein, creatine, BCAs, uh, what else, pre-workout. 100% natural, we'll clear that out now. But you have to remember, right? I'm only 5'7", 5'8", on a good day, right? <laughs> <laughs> 150, 155 pounds. You just have to remember, like, when I'm in the gym and I'm lifting and I have a pump, since I'm pretty, I'm relatively lean, right? I mean, I'm sitting down right now, but I'm relatively lean, so uh, it's all crunched up. <laughs> but your, your muscles, like, they look bigger. They look, they look fuller because the insertions, like, the, the lines in between the muscles, the indents, they look deeper, so, like, your muscles pop more, especially when you're sweaty, especially in pictures with good lighting, in a gym, nice and sweaty, glistening. You look bigger than you are, but I'm only 150, 155 pounds, 5'7". Get literally asked the same question, how tall, how, what's your weight, how tall, weight, tall, weight, high, weight, blah, 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 every single day, 20, 30 times a day. But I don't mind responding, I respond to everyone that comments, so leave a comment. Even the negative, negative comments, I respond, but she said, she uses steroids, lies your face about it, I'm just like, I think I was like, LOL, I don't. But if something stupid, I'll be like, thanks. Okay, anyways, next comment. All right, this one's funny. Because you guys know my tag, fuck average, right? Because that's my biggest motivation. Hate being average. Honestly, my biggest motivation on a serious note is the fear of being average. Like, it's just, if you're going to do something, be great at it. And I've always thought of, I've always thought of like that. And I just want to be the best at what I do. You know what I mean? I want to leave my mark. I want to be remembered. I want to have an impact. That's that's my biggest thing, is just being average. So I always say fuck average. Fuck average merch. Coming very soon. Everything is set up. Exciting stuff. I just went to the post office today, and, and I was setting all the, the, the things up. So all I have to do is, boop, boop, print label. Put it on, drop it off, you get to you guys. But anyways, he said, the question should be how long has he been on juice for? Fake natty, fuck average, and get roids, bruh. He used my tag against me. <laughs> which is kind of which is kind of messed up. But anyways, funny, I think I responded like, ha ha ha, good one. I, I, I don't remember what I responded. This one is a good one, because this one's a paragraph, right? He says, that joker, that kind of hurts me actually. No, I'm just joking. Me. <laughs> but he's like, that joker wants you to believe he's all natural, but he's only like 21. And then he goes on about talking about tests. He's a hard worker. I mean, thank you. I appreciate it. I'm very, I think I'm a very hard worker. And, 
and I put a lot of effort into this stuff. Uh, he's a hard worker and trains incredibly hard. Wait, he actually kind of kind of gave me. He's actually kind of complimenting me. Uh, knowledgeable, I might add. Wait, maybe we have to not put this one up. <laughs> Wait, I didn't realize that he actually. Cause I kind of stopped there. But anyways, I'm natural, so we'll live with that. I guess I kind of want to thank him a little bit. Another one. Stop photoshopping! Oh, exclamation point! Exclamation point! Exclamation point! I wonder how if he was actually angry typing this, or if he was screaming. You know what I mean? Because that, that seemed like to me, he's like, stop photoshopping! That's how I read it. <laughs> but anyways, obviously, right? I put good pictures up of me. You know what I mean? I'm not gonna put a bad. Uh, I mean, but like when I post like workout videos, those those aren't like edited or anything. This is right now. This is me completely natural. I don't have lighting over me. We're in in some shade, right? But in a picture, yeah, I'll put a filter on it. You know what I mean? Chris might blur out the background, make me pop a little more. But um, as a, as a photoshopping, I should actually put sometimes the original picture and then the one next to it when I post it. Because it's really not that big of a difference. This guy says, I'm walking amongst mortals. Bow and show respect. Impressive dude you are. Thank you. I mean, I don't consider myself above anyone, but he clearly does. But <laughs> anyways. Um, oh, and I always get this one a lot. You skip leg days. Or do legs. Where are the legs at? I personally think my legs actually look pretty good. I don't know how they look right now. But wait, it's actually really, don't show this. <laughs> There's no lighting right now. But I think my legs look pretty good. Uh, it's just the pictures that they comment on, it's usually just my, mostly my upper body and my legs kind of aren't in it. But anyways. Roids, roids, roids. All caps. Thanks, man. Is that natural or roids? He was asking a question. Natural. Oh, and another one I get a lot too. When was the last carb? Or do you even eat carbs? If you don't follow me on IG, follow me on IG, and I'm pretty sure I posted recipes on here. I actually eat a lot of carbs. What I do keep low is my fats is usually low. I don't count macros, as I've said uh, a thousand times before. I do just try to hit a certain amount of protein, which is usually around 170 to 180. I kind of keep my protein high just because I just enjoy it like that. Um, carbs are usually pretty high too, and then my fats are, are usually lower. But um, I don't count it specifically. Like one day it could be 400 carbs and 50 fat, another day it could be 100 fat and 200 carbs. You know what I mean? I just try to hit that protein and then just stay in a range of a certain amount of calories, which is usually 22 to 2,500. Um, another one, oh, I get this one all the time. They put the little needle injections, the little, the little needles. The blood ones? Yeah, the, oh, is that? Yeah, blood. I'm guessing it means, are you on, are you juicing? Um, no, I guess. <laughs> 200 milligrams to 500 milligrams per week. You guys that don't know, he's talking about steroids, like how much your dosage, your dosage is. Um, it's zero milligrams and zero milligrams per week for a total of zero milligrams per week. A zero is what I could really <laughs> want to say if you want to add that in there. A zero! A little kind of just funny thing and I, I kind of want to just tell you guys too because I was actually talking to my uncle uh, yesterday about it. Don't worry about what other people say. You know what I mean? Don't, like when, you, when you're working for something you're always going to be people that are, are trying to bring you down. There's, gonna, there's always going to be people that are jealous. You know what I mean? A lot, a lot of jealous people in this world but they're only jealous because they don't have the work ethic that you have. They don't have the drive. They don't have the discipline to do what you're doing. So they're going to try to bring you down. It doesn't matter where you're at. If they see that you're trying to get a goal that they don't want to do, that they, they'd rather sit on the couch, be home, watch TV. They'd rather eat a burger than eat a salad. They'd rather watch five movies rather than go outside for a run. It's beautiful outside right now. Beautiful. Now, I was literally telling my friend down there, he's running, he's, he's working out. And I was like, yo, it would literally be disrespectful to not come out here and work out with how beautiful the weather is. You know what I mean? Don't worry about what other people say. These things don't bother me at all. If, if anything, actually, I kind of like them because for two reasons. One, I feel like it makes the algorithm better. So the more comments, the more traction, the more people they're tagging, talking about how I'm on steroids and all that stuff, it, it brings more people to my page. So keep doing that. And then the second reason is it's low-key the biggest compliment in the world when you're natural and you're not on anything and people think you're on steroids, always accusing you of this. There's no way that you're natural. That, that's a compliment because I am natural. But, but I'm saying right now, if you're not natural and people don't think you're on steroids, that's low-key the most disrespectful thing in the world because you're obviously not doing something right. I have nothing against people that do any um, performance-enhancing drugs, PEDs, any of that stuff. I have nothing against it. Do what you want to do. Your life, your body. Do the research. You know, talk to your doctor. You know, do all that stuff. But yeah, um, I guess that wraps up this video. This is also, my chest is already feeling super sore, especially when I close it like this. And then when I stretch it out here, it's gonna be a problem tomorrow, just know that. Um, cardio felt good, feeling good, feeling energized, feeling just like, 
I don't know, a lot of stuff's going on, and I love it. I love the work. Chris has been killing it with the videos. He's been doing, a lot of people have been hitting him up, so if you guys haven't hit him up, hit him up. He's getting busy, just know that. So give the video a like, subscribe if you haven't. Check out any of the workout programs. I have three workout programs, like one of the, the circuits I did today, it's on the workout program in the, in the cardio circuits. If you wanna lift like me, train like me, I give a, a meal guide, diet guide, not a personalized diet, but just like foods that I eat and then a couple recipes, check that out in the hypertrophy program. If you wanna decrease your mile, check that out too. If you want any supplements from EHP Labs, link will be down below, use I code Isaiah10, bam. And then I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay working, stay hustling, and fuck average.